Good morning. Uh, there's been a deal of discussion on Melnet of recent about lady putts and removing the fingerboard and how it's virtually impossible to get the keys back through without a lot of effort. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick video show you how I do the job which doesn't seem to be too difficult. First thing to do is take the keyboard off. Three screws holding on the thing or thumb board for want of a better term. Once that's removed you can actually get at most of the mechanism if I can get the light to catch properly and to be fair most of the adjustment you may ever need to be doing you can get in along here and bend and tweak with a pair of pliers but if you feel as if you really need to take the keyboard off refer the four, four screws to at the top to at the bottom once the four screws are removed you're still at a point not at the point of no return but the moment you take the keyboard off the keys go all floppity and that's what makes getting it all back together it's just a little bit more difficult than it need be as you can possibly see each button is on a bent piece of wire which is uh, threaded through a hole in the mechanism so they all flop around getting them back into place is not that difficult it is just a bit of a pain and the thing to do now is try and get my camera angled so you can see what I'm doing my method is to first sort the buttons out into the rows so those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 are the outside row those 10 are the inside row these all need to be moved forward So now we've roughly aligned the rows and those are the four accidental buttons and my method is to sneak the four accidentals in. Now, ah, need to introduce you to the tool. You can either use a pair of snipe nose pliers with which you can pick up and move things or my preference nurse is the forceps not sure where I got these from I think they came from work when I still did such sordid things so we first of all need to align the four accidental buttons and you just grab the wires underneath the button align it. So there I have the four, uh, four accidentals just gently poking into the fingerboard and then whilst holding the key fingerboard down with one finger next thing to do is do the inside row And you just go along and pick up the individual buttons. And I'll just pop into the holes. Not that one. This one. Okay. 
and then the outside row. And voila, all duly reinstalled. So like I say, not particularly a hard job, but it does help if you've got something with a long reach so you can get all the way in to the keyboard to pick up the wires. And you, it's usually best, I find, to sort the buttons out into the rows before you start, because it's not, because of the way the Lily put is region Lily put put together. For instance, that button there, which is an an inside row button, you would think actually operates a pallet on the outside set. So there's a strange bend. And then it's just a matter of putting all the screws back in. And a quick check that nothing's amiss. Hope this helps.